What's up? How are you guys today? We're gonna do a full day of eating, morning routine, breakfast, lunch, dinner, give you guys an idea of what I've been doing lately. A lot of the stuff is similar, but there's a few things here and there that are, I guess, somewhat new that you guys can keep in mind. So just woke up, I'm about to go down to work, and this is one of the things I didn't really show you guys. So here we have some freeze-dried pituitary gland powder. Uh, this is in the third eye supplement on organsupplements.com. I just have a, a bag of this here because it's so expensive. This stuff is, you know, thousands and thousands of dollars per kilogram because in the brain, those pituitary pineal hypothalamus glands are so, so tiny and they only get so much from each animal. So this is probably like, you know, hundreds, if not thousands of cows worth of probably closer to hundreds worth of the glands. And it's very potent. So all I really do, and this is the same as if you had the, the third eye supplement we have. Maybe about half a teaspoon. Not the best, not the worst thing in the morning, you know. And uh, I will report to you guys if I start seeing any uh, three-breasted alien girls with blue skin. But I'm not sure that's going to happen yet. And we just have a little bit of mastic gum here too. I'm going to do a quarter teaspoon. Yeah, so the idea behind the glands, just like the testicles boosting your testosterone and all of the animal cellular tissue going to yours to replenish it, same thing with those glands. A lot of the toxins, chemicals, pesticides, herbicides, all that stuff, things they put in the water supply and food supply can kind of inhibit the ability of those glands to function. So this is something that, hey, a worst case scenario, you're just getting some more omega-3s. Uh, so that's really it. I'm probably just gonna hydrate a lot. Um, maybe drink a whole bottle of this throughout the morning and then we'll have some breakfast. Here is our breakfast. For protein, we have the Iberico pork tenderloin from Frankie's Free Range Meat. Carbohydrate source is organic apple cinnamon oatmeal, and we got honey crisp apple for some more carbs as well. So we need to just boil some water. We'll sear this in the pan, and we will peel the apple. Now, if you guys are unfamiliar with Iberico pork, this is from Spain, uh, called the Iberian Peninsula. These pigs are famous for their diet of primarily acorns. And honestly, this meat smells so good. It smells better than most girls, I swear to God. It's amazing. So we're just gonna chop up a few medallions here, put a little bit of salt on top, and these just go in the pan with a little oil. Now I kind of miss the pork breakfast sausage, so let me know if you guys want me to get some of that back. Uh, I think what we can do is we can just grind up the whole pig into one or two different types of sausage so uh, then the pork share isn't going to be that expensive you know you can just go on the website and just order your two pounds of sausage for like 20 bucks maybe we can do an apple sausage not a bad idea all right so the pork tenderloin is done and our water is boiling so we can add it to the oatmeal now this is the only annoying thing about breakfast uh takes you know 10 15 minutes for this hot, hot, hot bowl of oatmeal to cool off. Uh, but really all the meals that we're gonna have today have a pretty, pretty minimal prep time, five, 10 minutes. So in addition to the pork, oatmeal, and apple, as always with every meal, I have my mastic gum for supplements this morning. We are going to do three of the macronutrient enzyme blend on Frankie's Serious Meat that breaks down carbohydrates, proteins, and fat. And breakfast is where I have the bulk of my supplements for the day. Uh, rest of the day is usually just vitamin B1, but for breakfast we're doing one vitamin C capsule. We're gonna do two magnesium capsules. We will have, eh, do I feel like B1 or B complex today? We'll do one B complex today. Sometimes I do two, sometimes I just do B1. Occasionally I'll do B1 plus B9. So that's our B vitamins. That's our kind of like antioxidant support stuff with the magnesium and the vitamin C. 
Uh, we did some selenium a few times over the past month. So today we're going to do a catch up on the other minerals. We're going to do some molybdenum, manganese, as well as some boron. So today is a kind of trace mineral day, but most of the time I don't have the minerals. It's usually just a once a week thing on the minerals. Pork, super delicious, amazing, as always. We actually cooked this really rare on the middle. You know, sometimes I have water with breakfast, sometimes I have water kefir today. I feel like I'll have some water kefir. But I do try to hydrate in the morning, so I'm gonna add a bit of water to the water kefir to dilute it. So about halfway into breakfast, I'm going to take my supplements. As well as my masticum, about half a teaspoon. I mean, I don't really have time for breakfast, but if I don't eat it, then by like two or three o'clock, I'm just so hungry, I don't even wanna work anymore. So we have the high quality animal protein, saturated fat cholesterol for cellular health from the pork. And even though it's relatively lean, all meat has plenty of saturated fat. So there's no concern on that. The oatmeal, we have our carbohydrates, our starch, some fiber, detox the liver, feed the cup bacteria. Same with the apple. Apple just has a bit higher of a water content. All right, guys, finish the pork and the oatmeal, a little bit of water kefir. I'm gonna have maybe half of this apple. I haven't been eating the whole apple lately, but that's really it for breakfast. So we'll see you guys for lunch. Just got back from work, guys, and I am filling up my pot of stew. So here on the floor is my Instant Pot. I don't have a lot of space in this kitchen, so this is the outlet that I'm using over here. Potatoes, tenderloin stew meat, onions, barley, bottle of Pinot Noir and uh, some of the collagen bone broth from Frankie's syringe meat. Differences from that recipe we did like a week or two ago, no mushrooms and no thyme. Still pretty tasty, still pretty versatile, but uh, this has been chilling out on the floor, so it's not really that hot. We're just gonna put it in a, a steel pot and warm this up on the stove top. And since it's winter and it's cold, like I'll leave this here until I'm done eating it for a few days, but normally you do wanna put it in the refrigerator. So we're just warming that up on the stove top and we'll have a few pieces of bread with it. All right, boys, what do we got? Too much nonsense. You guys have no idea how much I wish I was just like normal and could eat normal food because honestly, this is kind of insane. Anyway, let's explain it. So what are we doing? We got our soup, our stew with all high quality whole foods, organic ingredients. The beef, the barley, the potatoes, so rich in vitamins and minerals. I mean, even the wine's organic, so really good stuff. This is the bulk of the nutrition for this meal. We have the organic uh, sourdough bread, just more carbs, more starch, feed the gut bacteria, give it something to eat. And we have half of an apple for dessert. Again, more gut motility, more fiber. That's really the theme here, guys, because... You know, you kind of have to do the opposite of what destroyed your body, if it makes sense. So I was carnivore. I was eating a lot of meat. Now I have to go to the other side and have like a lot more starch, a lot more plant foods. And then hopefully when I'm feeling better, I can meet somewhere in the middle as opposed to being more extreme on the amount of plant foods. With that, we have some water kefir from Frankie's Free Range Foods. This is a new uh, electrolyte blend we're making. So very high in potassium, magnesium as well as having the probiotic bacteria. Of course, masticum with every meal, guys. And lately, I've been doing the, the macronutrient enzymes with every meal. I've been noticing a, a more improved digestion 
And what, what you can really do is, you know, if you have large bowel movements, if you're eating too much food, the macronutrient enzymes can really help and kind of and kind of break things down. So we got five of those. Usually have five to six, and then we'll have two of the vitamin B1. And I can't say enough positive things about these new supplements because when I used to take vitamin B1, the dosage was way too high and I wouldn't be able to sleep afterwards. But now with these safe dosages that we have in organ supplements, I know exactly how much I can take. I just like dipping the bread in the stew. Bro, bread alone used to be good, but now it's like all their bread is stale. So I'm literally going to make my own sourdough next week. I'm fed up. If I toast this in the oven, it'll probably be a lot better, but I'm so hungry. It's, you know what? Let me put, let me put a few pieces in the oven. Just this like oven in this apartment is ancient and... I hate using it. Soup is very good. When the bread is really fresh, I actually like the bread more than the soup. But if the bread's not that great, I'd rather just like only eat the soup. So if I was like in the Siberian forest living alone with a beautiful Russian housewife, this is like what she would make me, you know? I feel like this is what she would make me. Potatoes are underrated. I definitely... Should do a video on potatoes. Water keeper, very fresh, very clean. All right, so about halfway through the meal, I'm gonna take my digestive enzymes and my vitamin B1. And we'll also have about half a teaspoon of masticum. All right, our bread is definitely a little toasted now. Yeah, the bread's actually passable if you toast it. I feel like I look like the biggest mess in this video today. But I am a mess, so we're telling the truth. Yeah, I've been so hungry and eating so much lately that I can tell I definitely need either more digestive enzymes or more probiotics. So I'm really focusing back on the, the macronutrient enzymes and the water kefir to uh, even that out. And I've said this before, but the reason I try to like almost overeat and gain weight is because it's better to have your body's toxins stored in the fat cells as opposed to the liver. So it's kind of taking stress off of your liver when you gain body fat. But then obviously when you lose fat very rapidly, those toxins can kind of go back to your liver, which is not good. The idea being that you build up the body fat stores, take stress off the liver, allow the body to detox, and then eventually, when your liver's a lot healthier and higher functioning, it can detox those toxins from the fat. At least, that's what's going on in my head. I could actually be just giving myself fatty liver by eating too much, and I might be better off just <laughs> restricting myself. Gotta look at both sides of the coin, guys. All right, guys, I'm kind of full. We ate mostly everything and made a mess as usual. So I'm just going to finish my apple, have a little more water kefir, and uh, we'll see you guys for dinner. And we're back for dinner. I've been having this for the past few months now. Udon noodles, collagen broth. A more recent addition is the white bean puree. Excellent for fiber. My bowel movements have been a lot better. Normally, I have the roast beef from Frankie's Series Meat, but we just got the freshly slaughtered beef never frozen in yesterday and this ground beef looked too good not to try of course washing it down with a peeled honey crisp apple but i'm going to prep everything for you guys uh, i guess we'll take a look at the meat because it is a bit of a special product but we're just going to put maybe one or two tablespoons of the collagen broth two or three tablespoons of the bean puree in this bowl and then when the noodles are done and they're really hot it'll kind of just mesh everything all together but we do have to saute this beef in the pan. Roast beef is a lot more convenient, but uh, this is a nice change of pace. So just drop the noodles in, plenty of oil so that they don't stick, and a little bit of salt to season. Not gonna lie, guys, I've been wanting to eat this raw all day for some reason. 
I've been like looking at it and wanting to take a bite out of it ever since we uh, unboxed it at Frankie's Free Range Meat. Looks good. I mean, it's as fresh as it gets. Slaughtered yesterday. Literally does not smell like anything. The thing about the freshly slaughtered meat is that it takes usually a week or two before the meat starts developing its natural flavors. I really have to like breathe a lot of air in my mouth and nasal cavity even just to get like any flavor and I'm it's a very light mineral taste with some grassiness and hay notes. You don't really get a lot of flavor with the fresh meat. It's why it's customary to, you know, age a carcass for 21 to 28 days before you even cut up the meat. But for people with histamine intolerance, and it's also a nice change of pace to have the fresh stuff once in a while. We might be out of the fresh beef share, guys, on Frankie's Strange Meat, or we just have a few left, so if you want to try it, if not, we should have it again in a few weeks. I'm going to bed soon, so I don't really want to have a crazy amount of meat, maybe just a third of a pound. I'll show you guys real quick since I brought a few steaks home too. This is like a leaner sirloin steak, but I would say that most of the steaks in the package do not look like that. We have very few lean steaks. This is one of the smaller porterhouse. And then we have a pretty nice looking ribeye steak here. So while that's going, maybe two tablespoons of the collagen, two heavier tablespoons of the white bean puree. Actually artichoke in here too this time. Then go the noodles. After I put the noodles in, it kind of melts the broth and the bean puree in. It turns into this nice sauce that coats the noodles pretty evenly. I do need to add a bit more salt to this. Uh, so I had the butcher put the grind beef through a coarser plate, so it's a lot easier to break up in the pan. Put it in, it'll finish cooking with the noodles. Our big plate of udon beef noodles. All right, guys, let's score this. Noodles A plus, delicious as always. Beef is really nice. Really nice flavor on the fresh ground beef. Unfortunately, most of the beef share is like whole cuts, so you only get like two or three pounds of ground beef. I actually like this a lot more than the roast beef. Like the pieces of caramelized ground beef, but it's just a lot more work to obviously cook that instead of just slicing up the roast beef. This is so delicious, guys. This is really good. And, you know, in the context of my extreme dietary restrictions, you know, took a while to come to this recipe so I take the artichokes the white beans puree them sometimes with onion sometimes with garlic but a little bit of salt and coconut cream and that goes really well with these noodles and then putting a little bit of the the collagen beef broth in there for some beef flavor some complexity extra amino acids so you're getting a really nice source of protein you have the fiber the liver detox and keeping like the bowel movements whole really really necessary that that bean puree really changed everything for this meal. And then of course you have a lot of starch and uh, refined carbohydrates in the noodles. Feed the gut bacteria, keep things moving, a lot of starch, energy. And that's really it guys. I mean, these are the, the two most basic foods that humans cultivate for nutrition and calories, meat and grains. We got two vitamin B1. That kind of offsets the refined white flour used in the noodles. And we're gonna take Maybe five of the macronutrient digestive enzymes. And with all of those, we'll take eh, a little less than a teaspoon of masticum. So the vitamin B1 can tend to get depleted when you eat a lot of carbohydrates, you know, because of the liver damage not allowed to eat as much protein, which has the B vitamins. The macronutrient enzymes have all of the protein, carbon, fat digesting enzymes that our liver and pancreas produce. So this is really great for helping the body break down the food. A lot of positive feedback on this. 
and the masticum just prevents the H. pylori, which uh, we've done several extensive videos on H. pylori and how I got it from drinking raw milk, but that's a long story that I've told before. This is definitely going to be a staple meal for me. And so I usually just sit here and scroll through TikTok on my phone. Like, I wear the Wi-Fi shielding clothing and stuff, but obviously, like, I'm not shielding my head the whole day, which is not ideal. So we eat most of that bowl of noodles and beef. I've been a little better lately. I haven't been overstuffing myself. I haven't been finishing my apple either. I usually just have half of it, and then that's it. No, I probably shouldn't. But I've been staring at this bottle of apple juice on my counter for like the past three days that we use in the oatmeal recipe. This is uh, Lakewood Biodynamic Pure Apple. It does have apple puree in it and then just organic apple juice. Not from concentrate juice. Really expensive. I think this is like $8. And I feel kind of sick. <laughs> Even though I didn't eat as much as I should have, I probably still ate way too much. And the, the masticum can kind of make you a little nauseous sometimes. So just keep that in mind. But since we did a juice video on Wednesday, I will demonstrate the palatability of juice, even though I am not hungry. Yeah, like, as soon as you take a sip, you could drink the whole thing. I think I just had at least a cup there, but I could drink this whole bottle easily, which would be like 120 grams of sugar. So, I will report back and let you guys know how poorly I slept, but if you do something like that, probably just want to take a little more masticum. The problem with that is you really can't because... More than a teaspoon of masticum will usually cause diarrhea, so try to be a little smart about it. So that was dinner, guys. I think we'll wrap the video up in the morning. So it is the next morning, and I'm here to report back on how well I slept. Wasn't actually bad. You know, having that juice did not stimulate some sort of candida demon to release endotoxins to my brain. So uh, we're good. You know, having the masticum, not eating too much food, not overdoing a crazy amount of juice, that's fine. But you know, if you have compromised digestive function and you start eating a box of cookies or a whole bottle of juice, that's where you might start having some sort of issue. But uh, guys, this day of eating is a lot of work to film, so please make sure to drop a like, leave a comment down below, and share the video on social media if you can. If you guys do wanna support me, you can go to frank-stefano.com where you will see all of my interesting businesses and products ranging from the fresh beef share, the collagen broth, the water kefir on Frankie's Strange Foods. We got the supplements on organ supplements. I'm always wearing the Wi-Fi shielding clothing. And we have the other stuff on there like Frankie's Naturals too. So as always, thanks for joining guys. If you have any ideas for future videos, please let me know. But we'll see you for the next one.